James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today, September 22nd, 2023, noon central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. I want to start off by saying we now have three magnetically complex sunspots that are Earth-facing, and NOAA has given a 10% chance of us having an Earth-directed X flare today. That may not sound like a very high percentage, but that means one out of every 10 days you get hit. I have seen a 10% chance before, never a 15% chance of an X flare. All right, let's get caught up. It looks like we've had three M class solar flares already today. Now, I'm going to show you this first explosion on STO. It looks horrific. They have said that AR3435 has gone back to just alpha. It's no longer a complex sunspot. But that's where the M1.19, M1.2 came from. And that lasted from 2.25 UTC time to 4.33 UTC time. A very long duration M flare, a 1.19, directly Earth facing, again, out of sunspot AR3435, that is said to be no longer complex. Next, we have an M shaped M flare that occurred right after 1700 UTC time. We went up to what looks like about an M1.4 back under the M class threshold and back up to about a 1.52. Now, they haven't assigned a sunspot to this yet, but I think we're going to all be able to agree where it came from. Now, I have that first M flare on STO that lasted two hours, and it is absolutely amazing. We'll take a look at that very shortly. In the meantime, headed over to GOES, Solar Ultraviolet Imager, 195 angstroms. It's quite easy to see that these come from what I believe to be the double whammy, one, two, come from what I believe to be Sunspot AR3543. AR3543. All right, headed to take a look at the sunspots. It looks like they have upgraded AR3435 back to complex beta gamma. They have also upgraded AR3443, where we just had the double M flare up to beta gamma and given it by itself a 5% chance of X flare out of nowhere. Our sun currently looks like a stop sign out in the country shot up with a shotgun. All right, STO does not have the latest eruptions yet, but I would like to show you the earlier M1 flare here. This is all part of it. Unbelievable. That was that two hour M1.2 flare. You'll see it start there, and it just tsunamis over here. It is very complex, and it looks like AR-43 goes off at the same time. I want you all to also see this plasma shoot straight up here. Watch this. Whoa, and then more plasma shoot off the sun here. There it goes right there. Uh, very, and then another one went straight up. Very strange event. Again, Let's look at today, this first 1.2 flare starts up right there, and then there's what looks like solar tsunamis to the north and south. Very active, again, at the same time, just take a look. It looks like, here we go, AR-43 is blowing at the same time. They might be connecting. If so, we're talking about X-10 flare. We do have a still frame Lasco C2 of the second out of the three explosions. This is the plasma that was released, so it was a very large solar flare. And because it was mostly Earth-facing, 
I am positive that it will have an earth component to it and there will be a CME associated with it. You can see the plasma leave the sun on H2 LASCO. Another look at the second of three M flares thus far today. Again, ladies and gentlemen, this is on STO at 131 angstroms, but you can see it pop real well there. So there's really no question where it came from, especially since that's now been updated to be more complex, along with 3435, which doesn't look like it's doing anything, but did today earlier, as you just saw. Moving back to our D-Region Absorption Prediction Center, let's see how many x-rays we all absorbed. Uh, see what we've got here. That's probably the second out of the three M flare there, mostly over South America and the Caribbean. And the f other one seems to pop off right there, mostly over South America and Central America, although a lot of radiation is still covering the United States of America and parts of Canada as well. This is, of course, nothing compared to yesterday's 8.72 solar flare. Although we need to keep all three of these events in mind because they were basically all Earth-facing, we saw the plasma ejected in the form of a chronal mass ejection off the second M flare, and we all saw the very complex two hour plus M flare that happened earlier in the day that looked like it had two tsunamis associated with it and might have looped or hooked two of the complex sunspots. Taking a look at NOAA's KP index forecast breakdown from September 22nd today through the 24th, they have very little going on with about six hours of G1 geomagnetic storm at the end of tomorrow through the 24th. Not quite sure which flare they're counting on. I personally am counting on being hit later this evening with some of the smaller flares that started a few days ago and having the follow-up two larger M flares impact us on the 23rd. I don't see the 24th and 25th like NOAA and NASA do. All right, looking at our KP indexes, it looks like we're in a geomagnetic storm and disturbance per the college index. Always more sensitive, it appears in most. Our estimated planetary index shows not even a geomagnetic disturbance yet. These two impacts could be the first two M flares. We again see nothing on the Fredericksburg or Boulder. I was expecting it for later this evening, but it could be impacting right this second. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about these two first M flares that occurred on the 19th. Uh, then we had a larger M flare, followed by a larger M flare, followed by a larger M flare. So I think that this energy is pushing towards Earth. Whatever was lifted off the sun at that time is probably impacting Earth or will very shortly. I would expect a solar storm over the next 24 hours, although NOAA is not expecting anything until late on the 23rd and early on the 24th and nothing before or after that. I believe that they have the 25th in play as well currently. And over to the Goodard spiral here is Earth in yellow here. We're definitely hit by this long and short-term plasma. Let's see what the dates of that are going to be. Boom, it looks like the 24th, and then on the 30th, boom, the 24th, and then on the 28th, I guess. Very strange how they can predict plasma six days in advance. We'll see if they're correct. I wonder where it came from. God bless each and every one of you guys. You can see that they actually have the CME hitting Earth here in green. It does become more powerful as it moves away from the source, which is technically impossible. But besides that, they do have it impacting Earth here. Just a glancing blow, though. God bless you guys. Please share. Please subscribe. And always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.